Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you really quickly how you can use um, accent marks, right? So if you're, um, you know, teaching, uh, you're in Spanish class, right? You want the kids to be able to use um, some of the accent marks like the tilde. Okay, so what we do first is down here at the bottom, click on that control panel. Then you click on the gear on the settings. Okay, so when we open up settings, on the left side, you'll see advanced. So click advanced and then scroll down until you see languages and inputs. So click on languages and inputs. And in the center, you're going to see um, a couple of, of options. Click on the one that says inputs. Okay. So then here we have um, a couple of steps that we're going to do right now in the Chromebook, it defaults to just English. That's the type of, keyboard that we're using what we're going to do is we're going to add another one so click on add input method okay and then here you know you could be tempted to just you know start clicking spanish right or looking for other languages what we're going to do though is we're going to go to this one right here it says english us with international pc keyboard that's the one that we want okay so check that one off the english us with international pc keyboard Okay, so now I'm going to hit add. Okay, so it added it right here. And then the second step we're going to do before we close this window out is we're going to turn this on where it says show input options in the shelf. I'm going to turn this one on. And so what that did is if you notice down here, we have this circle, this button now that says US. So this is the input method that was added to our shelf. Okay, so like if this is off, it's not there. Well, actually, it shows us US, but um, we want it to be on so we can really easily just come down here and, and click on it and go between English US and then the English US International PC keyboard. Okay, so we're ready there. I'm going to close this window because we don't need it anymore. So now I'm in a Google Doc. So let's say this is where, you know, the students were going to, you wanted them to use their accent marks. So for example, I'm going to use my my name, which does use accent marks, right? And let me just click in here. There it goes. So like this is my name, right, in English. But if I wanted to type it in Spanish with the accent marks, then I'm going to need an accent over the A, and then I'm going to need an accent on the O. OK, so what I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to, yeah, this is the this is from uh, the Google, the Chromebook help site. So um, this right here, actually, before I scroll down, this is the first steps. So I already showed you how to do that. And then this is, I showed you how to do this already. Now here are the shortcuts to, um, to use the accent marks, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to put an accent mark um, over the A and then over the O. And then I'm going to show you how to do like tildes too, because it does get a little tricky now. To do these other ones, so like the the umlaut, right? So like if we have the U with the two little dots, like um, uh, pinguino, right, or something like that, I'm going to show you how to do those two. Now, before I get into that, you'll see here these are the key the keys that you have to press, right? This one says Alt G R. What that means is that's the Alt key that's on the right side of the space the space bar on your keyboard, okay? Because we have an Alt key on the left side of the space bar, and then we have an Alt key on the right side. The Alt GR is the Alt key on the right side, so make sure you're using that one. And it's just a combination of the right side Alt key plus the E, and that's what gives us the E with an accent, right? Now, um, going back up, um, so these are the combinations that I'm going to be using. Okay, so let me go back into my dock. So again, earlier, I want to spell my name with an accent over the A and an accent over the O. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, so if I right now use those combinations, um, let's say I wanted the accent over the O, right? This one right here. It's telling me to do the combination of this key, right? It looks like a like a, an apostrophe, but it's not. Uh, this key is the one that's over, or it's actually to the left of the enter button on our keypad and then the letter, right? So if I was to do that right now, I'm going to hit the one 
the key to the right of the enter and then the letter, it doesn't do anything, right? It just did the that actual key and then the letter. So what we have to do is over here on the bottom right where it says US, just click on that. And we're going to switch it to the international PC keyboard. OK, so now it's in the international. And I know it is because it says IN for international. And so now I'm going to do that combination again. I'm going to hit the apostrophe to the left of the enter. And it looks like it didn't do anything, but it's kind of saving um, the function in memory. So now I'm going to do the A. And there's my accent. OK, I'm going to do the same with the O. So I'm going to do the apostrophe key and then the O. OK, so now I have my, my name. So if I want to do like something like a tilde with the N, so P E, the combination is for a tilde is the shift plus now this mark, I'm going to highlight it. And actually, you know what? Let me zoom in. This is a little different, right? So it's different from this one. That one is just a straight apostrophe. That one's the key that's to the left of your enter button this one right that one and then this one that one is on the left side of your keypad right underneath the escape key it's on the second row of keys that's the one that we're going to use so we're going to hold down the shift we're going to use the key that's on the left top left in the second row and then the letter um, and this combination let me zoom back out a little bit this is the combination that's going to give us the tilde. OK, so let me go back over here. OK, so I'm going to do the enye. So I'm going to do shift, the apostrophe that's to the left on the top left. OK, so again, it looks like it's not doing anything. Now I'm just going to do the letter N and then enye. So there you go. Now I got a tilde. And then the other letters like the the circumflex, that one is the the, it looks like a little house that goes up this one right here so it's shift then the number six and then the letter okay shift the number six and then I let go of those two buttons and then I'm just gonna do the letter okay so oops let's see that one didn't look too well shift number six letter oh some of these I guess it wouldn't Yeah, maybe the J doesn't take one. Maybe it's a vowel. Shift, six, letter. Oh, yeah, they're only vowels. Okay, so you have to, I guess that's good for some of the kids. Shift, six, E. Yeah, so those are only vowels that have that little shape. And I've never seen that in Spanish, but maybe in you know, one of the other languages. And then you got the um, these other ones that I'm sure there are other languages. So, like, for example, this. They call it a sedilla, right? Which looks like a comma, but it actually, I think it's on the, it's underneath a letter. And I think it's underneath the letter C. So to do that, it's the shift. Here's that alt GR. Remember alt GR is the alt key on the right side of the space bar. And then the five and then the letter. So I'm gonna do the um, shift. I'm holding down shift. I'm holding down the alt. On the right side and now the number five oh yeah sometimes these just don't work i wonder if it's because oh i just i just saw something since i'm using the international pc keyboard right we switched it i can just use this the straight quotation and then the letter and the, the straight quotation, this one's the one that's to the left of the enter key. OK, so you got to kind of, I guess this just takes training for the, for the students. This, yeah, so that one is only, let me zoom in. It's only on the letter C, because if I do that straight quotation, then like a D, it just does the quotation and a D. But if I do that straight quotation with the C, it does that, that character. OK, so now the other things that I was going to show you all, if you wanted to do like um if you wanted to do the vowels let me go back to this one right here this is the accent marks right 
down here, if you wanted to do like the E with an accent, the A with an accent, the U, the I, the O, the N, -Y, the other shortcuts that you can use, once you have that international keyboard turned on, it's just the Alt GR, which is again, the Alt key to the right of the spacebar, and then the letter E, and that gives us this. So I'm gonna do A, E, I'm gonna do these letters right here. Let me go back over here. So I'm gonna do Alt, the Alt on the right side of the spacebar. So Alt and then the letter E. Okay, so I was holding down the Alt and the letter E. And actually, ooh, that capitalized it. And that just capitalized it because it was the first letter, right? It did like an autocorrect kind of thing. Um, I'm going to do it again, Alt, the right side, Alt, and then the letter E. So that one stayed little. Okay, so now I'm going to do Alt, A, Alt, U, Alt, I, uh, Alt, O, and then Alt, N gives me that N. -ye. Okay, so that's easier. So that's kind of um, a lot easier. So it's just the Alt key and then a, E, I, O, U, so it's the vowels, and then the N, and then the other letters too that I can do, so like the, that umlaut diuresis, so like if I wanted to do the word ping, pinguino, the U is the alt, and this is what's weird, because you would think alt U, right? But that just gives us the U with the accent, so like for that other one, you would do um, Alt and then the Y, which is weird, but it's that, right? Something like that. Okay, so now, and that one, that shortcut or that combination of numbers, or I'm sorry, combination of keys is right here, right? So if I wanted to do this one, it's the Alt to the right of the spacebar plus the Y. That's where it gets weird because even though it's going to be a U, you have to hit the Y key. If you wanted to do the O, it's the P. If you wanted to do the A, it's the Q. And then there's that, that C with the little comma thing at the bottom. Alt and then the the um, Alt and the comma. That's what that one is. So I'm going to do those right now. So if I wanted to do the, um, the O, it's the Alt on the right side of the space bar and P. Okay, so there's the O, Alt on the right side, and the Q, that's the A, Alt on the right side with the comma. Yeah, there's that C with that curly thing underneath it. Okay, so those key combinations are right here. Let me zoom out. If you ever need to search or, or come back to it, Okay, you can choose keyboard language and special characters. If you did a search, I'm going to add this in the in the email so that way you can come back to it. So I'm going to add the link. And then, um, yeah, other than that, just make sure, you know, you go into into the this menu right here, settings, uh, go to advanced, languages and input, go into input, add, Right, go to add methods, add the English US with international PC keyboard, and then turn this on, toggle this on so it's blue. And then once you're done there, down here at the bottom, when they're ready to write, um, you know, with the special characters, click on the little circle right here, and then make sure this one right here, the English US with uh, US, English US with international PC keyboard is checked off. Um, if not, the combinations won't work, okay? And then that's it, you are ready. And then whenever they're done, I mean, they can always just go back to English and then everything works the same. But now those combination of keys don't work anymore. Um, see how I was trying to do the A? It's just giving me like the, the apostrophe with the A. Now, also, since we're in the US keyboard, the Alt key on the right side, some of them do have like, there's shortcuts like this one just turned on accessibility, but you can find other, see that one did an emoji. I didn't realize it did that. That was Alt S. 
Now, I don't know how to escape from that. Oh, there it is. Okay, so, I mean, there are other things that you can do with this, but, um, yeah, just if you use the, if it's not working for you, use the international keyboard and then you are good. Now I'm trying to figure out how I can delete these. I don't think I can. All right, so don't do that. It was the Alt key on and the and the letter S to do those happy faces. But okay, so if you have any other questions, just let me know. And I hope you um, hope you have you like the video. And if you have, uh, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know.